Hi everybody, my name's Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So welcome to another What's In My Stash Wednesday where I share with you a little bit of my massive <laughs> fabric stash or collection as I like to call it. So this is the third video in a series that I'm doing where I'm showing you key parts of my stash that I either really like or special fabrics, um, etc. And the past, last couple of videos that I've done have been my Lady McElroy fabrics, which I had a vast amount of. So if you haven't watched those videos yet, I'll put a link up above to them and also to the playlist where I will have all of my What's In My Stash Wednesday vlogs available for you to view. Now this week, I didn't know what I was going to do. I was going to do perhaps my winter fabrics, but I actually decided on my Liberty fabrics. Now, you'll be pleased to know, or probably not so pleased to know, I don't have as many Liberty fabrics as I do Lady Macaua fabrics because Liberty fabrics are a little bit more expensive. So Liberty fabrics start at £25 a metre. So I only really pick these up for special occasions or if they're in the sale, etc., so I've only actually sewn with one limit, Liberty fabric before and that was a Liberty fabric I was gifted by So Confident, the Jenny at So Confident as part of my brand ambassadorship. I made the Ingrid dress by um, Homer and Howells, which I'll put a picture in and I forget the name of the fabric but I'll put the name of the fabric there as well. And it was absolutely beautiful, it was a tarn of lawn and it sewed up so amazingly and I absolutely love it. But I have got one, two, three, four, five, six fabrics in my stash to show you. And I'm going to go in purchase order because I actually can remember what order I purchased these in. So my first piece of fabric that I purchased is just a metre piece that I purchased from Liberties of London itself when I was there um, a couple of years ago. I think it's when I first started sewing and I purchased this at the remnant section that they sometimes have one meter cuts and it was I was a very proud moment I was very um proud walking out the shop with my little liberty bag but I haven't actually made anything up in it and this is the fabric it is a mountain kind of landscape it gives me kind of Japanese vibes it's got a landscape it's on like a pale blue grey blue with pinks and oranges in it very subtle pastel colours and just a very very lovely lovely print and I can't remember actually how much this was, but I don't think it was the full £25 because I don't think I would have spent £25 on just this meterage. Um, so I'd probably say it's probably like 15 or something. But I've got a metre of fabric there and um, it's just so super soft. And I remember when I purchased it, I couldn't get over how soft it was. And because I'd only been sewing for a few, probably six months by then, I actually was so shocked by how soft it was compared to some of the other fabrics I'd been sewing with because they were obviously much cheaper quality. But this for me, um, I did buy with the idea of making some kind of cami top, but I know now I can get something a bit more out of um, a metre piece of fabric. But I think this would make a really nice lining. Um, so I'm kind of just saving it for that special project that I need a nice lining for, I think. Or maybe a nice pair of pyjama shorts would be nice. Something like that anyway. My next four fabrics are all fabrics I purchased in a Guthrie and Garney sale. Um, and I think it was for not last Christmas, the Christmas before. Um, so yeah, I've had these in my stash. No, it must have been last Christmas for over a year. And the first one I'm going to talk to you about is this one. This is a metre and a half, I think. Let me just double check. Yeah, metre and a half, and it's a Tarna Lawn, and it's called Manhattan in a brown colourway. I believe they did do a different colourway, and I've got it upside down. And I just fell in love with this. I love the retro-ness of it, the print. Obviously, it's Manhattan. It's got uh, Fifth Avenue. It's got the Statue of Liberty. It's got um, a London taxi cab. Basically, everything that, that New York is famous for. And also, these colours are so me. All of these rust colours, blues, etc. And I just really love that. And I did have that. I purchased that to make a shirt of some description. Um, I think when I purchased this, the shirt that I had made was... A seam work shirt that I can't remember the name of but I know I can get that out of a meter and a half so I 
knew that this would be enough to make a shirt of some description but obviously i haven't made that with it and it's kind of sat in my stash and to be honest with you this liberty fabric kind of sits in my stash because i'm too scared to cut into it although that was before i'd made up my ingrid dress in the gifted liberty fabric from so confident so that is manhattan and they do lots of different um they do lots of different prints that have different countries i think there was a los angeles one um i think there was like a germany one so basically different cities from around the world now the next two fabrics i purchased because for two reasons i couldn't decide which colorway to go for and also i had visions of a shirt made maybe the oya shirt um or some kind of loose fitting shirt made in both of these colorways doing some kind of color blocking so i think i got a meter and a half of each and this is called orion star signs and there's in the denim blue or the white well it's an off-white really um and what i love about it is it's just got basically every star sign all over it with kind of this medieval style writing so i don't know if that's coming up okay on the screen um and i just love it so i'm a scorpio i'm just having a look where the scorpio is is that the scorpion yes there we go the scorpion and it's basically got all the um really lovely things written on it so it for example it's got scorpio the scorpion the dates the 24th of october to the 21st of november and then their traits so energetic emotional intuitive and the element is water their color is dark red and their gemstone is opal the metal is steel and the flower is a geranium and i just thought that's really really lovely so that got that in the white colorway and then this is exactly the same but in the denim but it's like a teal colorway so on this one it looks talk about pisces which is the fishies this is what alice is um, appreciative of the arts the element is water um color is sea green genstone is moonstone metal is platinum and the flower is water lily so yeah i just think it's really lovely just to really like lovely details on that and actually as i'm talking about this now i'm feeling really inspired to get this made up i need to find the right shirt pattern but i just think that's going to look absolutely stunning gorgeous so i think you can still purchase these now from liberties now all of these bases that i'm talking about are on a tarna lawn base i don't have any other bases um they know they do do other bases they do a crepe de chine but that is quite expensive a silk crepe de chine which is like 50 pound a meter um so yeah that is not going to be something i'm going to purchase anytime soon and then my final tarna lawn fabric is one that i have i think two and a half meters of and it is called the Louis Spacewalk Tarn Lawn. And they did this in a purple and pink background. Purple and pink colourway. And this is the... I'm not sure what colourway. I assume it's blue and gold colourway. Um, and this basically is this really cool space print. Or cosmic print. I'll try and get it all opened out to do it justice. So this collection that came out from reading the Liberty website was all about expressing fantasy through literature and music um, and art. And this print is kind of a celestial landscape. And then it's got words, which I can try and find here. <clears throat> and they're words from David Bowie um, songs. So you've got things like a star-filled sky becomes a canvas for loads of different work motifs and lightning sunbeams, spaceships. And then you've got the song lyrics all the way through as well, which I just thought was really nice. This is just super soft. And let me just check that I've definitely got three and a half metres, uh, two and a half metres of this. Might have more actually, might be three. Let me just check. Oops. Yeah two and a half meters of that so enough to make a um you know a short kind of dress 
or um, again a shirt of some description if I really wanted to go crazy some trousers I mean it would make the most gorgeous pair of pajamas but too good for pajamas I think so that is my last piece of Tarn Lawn and then the only other Liberty fabric I got I have is a needle cord which I got very recently at the Stitch Festival in March and again this is a meter piece I just thought it was a really lovely print and this is it here don't actually know what that's called so let's see if i can find it now i've had a search and i can't find this so it's one and a half wide and it's a meter of fabric so get enough to get like a top out of that or a skirt and i just think that's really lovely and i actually think a nice pair of shorts or something would be like nice in that it's very very thin needle cord and really really soft but i just love the navy background with the teal and the orange going through it so that is my other piece of Liberty fabric. So not an excessive amount of Liberty fabrics, but you know, just a nice kind of amount there in my stash. And I am going to London in a couple of weeks with my kids. And I, of course, will be checking out the Liberty store, but I don't think I'll be buying any more Liberty fabric considering I've got six pieces that I have not sewn up yet. So yeah, they're my Liberty fabrics. I hope you like them bit of a shorter one this time but I think sometimes it's nicer to have little short vlogs that you can kind of squeeze in in between now and then when you're doing a little bit of sewing and um, I have some more fabrics that I will be showing you next week and that will be my kind of mismatch of nice fabrics so I've got some fabric godmother some dashwood studio some art gallery and fiber mood and atelier jupe as well so let's I'll see you next Wednesday for the next installment of what's in my stash Wednesday if you've liked this vlog please 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 click the like button it really helps um my algorithms etc and helps get my content out there and i know it's something i always forget to do so can you just click the like button now and then it's done <laughs> also if you don't subscribe already i'm trying to get towards that 5,000 subscribers by christmas would be a lovely christmas present so if you don't subscribe but you find yourself watching my channel please subscribe it doesn't take much just click the button right now and that'd be great <laughs> Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you all soon. Happy sewing. Bye.